Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. In this video, I will be presenting to you the new flight controller and the ESC PCB that I have made. This is the new flight controller board which uses the ESP32 ST Mini and the MPU6250 IMU for the gyro. And this here is the all new ESC PCB. And the good thing is, this PCB is not only limited to the drone but you can also use it in other projects where motor speed is variable and you can vary it by signaling PWM to the pins underneath the PCB. And sorry for the late upload because I was a little bit busy in getting the setups done because I wanted to increase the video quality. So let's get started. Now in the left hand side we have the ESC and in the right hand side we have the flight controller PCB. You can see the blue colored ESP32 S3 board that is soldered onto the PCB. In the back side of the PCB you can see the MPU650 IMU attached. Now let's keep the flight controller aside and focus on the ESC. The ESC is very tiny as compared to other aftermarket ESCs and you can see there are 4 PWM input pins for the ESC. The ESC uses AO3400 in-channel MOSFETs and some short key diodes for extra production. Now I have added the soldering part in the video where you will see how I soldered the MP650 and the ESC as well as the ESP32 onto the PCBs. So here I have prepared all the ports and now let's focus on soldering the MPU650. I will apply some soldering flux to the joints so that the solder is applied very well. The flux I am using here is a little bit dirty and it's cheap as well. But I don't suggest you using this flux because it produces dangerous fumes which are bad for your health. Instead, I suggest you using a cleaner flux, which you can find on Amazon pretty easily. Now I will align the MPU650 with the marks so that soldering becomes a little bit easy. I have fast forwarded the part where I soldered because it was a little bit tiring. You don't want to watch that, do you? Now this being the first time I have soldered something on PCBs, this looks very clean. Comment down your opinions below. Now hope everything works, now I will plug in the USB-C and check if everything powers on. Wow, alright. We get the power on LED in both the ESP32 and the MPU650. Now let's continue to the next part. In this part I will be soldering all the components on the ESC. It might be a bit tiring to watch but uh, I have added it anyways. I have used a little bit of flux on the PCB so that if I place all the components on the PCB itself it will not fall off while hitting it.
components are all placed on the PCB in place and it's now time to solder. Okay, now the soldering is done and you can see this time too everything's good uh, except a few blobs of solder that were there in the MOSFETs. Now it's very hard to solder these little things so you need to be careful otherwise everything will be jumping around here and there. Now I have got some nail remover that has pure acetone in it from my local store. You can use 99% isopropyl alcohol as well but I will use this to clean all the rest of soldering flux that are present on the board. This will ensure that there is no other soldering flux left on the board and everything's clean. Now keeping the flight controller and the ESC side by side, they look very beautiful and professional. Now you can see those little pins on the sides of both the boards. Those are the connectors that will bridge the flight controller with the ESC. You can use the ESC with any other board if you want. Those pins will ensure you can do that. Now let's take a look at the assembled drone. You can see I have placed the FC and the ESC quite above the drone because I couldn't access the USB type C like that. You can use any frame if you like and that blue thing that is extruding from the drone, the especially the flight controller is MS561 on barometer that I was experimenting with. Let's try a post test for the drone and see if it works. I have downloaded the frame from Thingiverse and if you want I will give a link to it in the descriptions below. Well well, all the fans spinned up and everything works. Let's continue. Now after doing some tinkering and tweaking in the firmware, I will try and see if the drone posts. Okay, so all the fans have spun up and everything seems alright. So let's now go to some flying videos. I hope you like this video. Make sure to comment, like and share and subscribe to the channel because next time we will be using the beta flight firmware. Till then, signing out.